Hello people, today we are going to learn about uh, part estimate. Uh, before we start on the part estimate, I would request you to go to my channel and uh, watch the CPM video which talks about critical path method. So if you watch, if you have already watched this video, then you will understand it better. So, or if you know what is critical math method, then also part estimate will be easier to understand. So as I use this example in my CPM video, I'll use the same example here. Uh, XYZ company is bringing a new product online to be manufactured in their current facility in existing space. The owners have identified 11 activities and their precedence relationship. Develop an activity on node for the project. So this is the activity. This is the description what we are going to do in that activity. And it's the uh, this is the immediate predecessor, which means that activity A can start any time and has duration of four weeks. Activity B can only start when A has completed. Activity C can only start after A has completed. So similarly, all, all these things. So let's go move on and draw the network diagram activity a activity b and c can only start when a has completed d can only start when b has completed f can only start when c has completed similarly using the table um, using this table we can construct the uh, network diagram let's move on uh, this uh, is another chart which will um, give us the optimistic time most likely time and pessimistic time to complete certain activity so for a activity a the optimistic time estimate is two weeks most likely is four weeks and pessimistic is six weeks so this chart will be given to you now using uh, beta probability distribution to calculate expected time duration a typical beta duration is shown below. Note that it has a definite end points. The expected time for finishing each activity is a weighted average. So how will do we calculate the weighted average? Here is the formula. Part estimate expected activity duration is calculated as optimistic plus 4 times most likely plus pessimistic divided by 6. The whole thing divided by 6. Standard deviation is calculated as pessimistic minus optimistic divided by 6 and variance is calculated as uh, this formula. Standard deviation whole square. So uh, calculating for each activity we'll, using this formula we will calculate this expected time. Uh, you can use the calculator, pause the video and calculate it manually if you would like. You will get these answers. After you put all these values for each activity, this will come. Now again, we will uh, draw a network diagram with expected uh, expected activity times, which we calculated uh, from the table. So we'll just put the duration in each of them. And then again, we will uh, find out the connected path like this. There will be four paths as explained in the critical path method video. So the, now the expected duration uh, comes as these for each of the path and the critical path is uh, uh, becomes this one. A, B, D, G, I, J, K is the expected critical path which comes to be 44.83. Now adding uh, early start and early finish to the network. If you don't know how to do at least start and early finish to the network, I will again ask you to go back to my video which explains critical path method. There I have explained how to do that. So you can uh, use these values calculated here, um, here uh, to, cal uh, uh, to make this diagram for with ES and EF in the network. It's very easy to do. You just need to... Mm, add the early start and duration to come up with the early finish. So, for example, I'll explain a bit here. Uh, for B, activity B, early start will be when the A finishes. A finishes at 4. So, early start will be 4. 
and early finish will be early start plus the duration of B. So 4 plus 6.83 will give early finish for B. So it will be 10.83. So similarly you can do it for all the nodes. This is the Gantt chart. Gantt chart gives you, uh, shows each activity finished at the earliest uh, possible start date. This Gantt chart we have uh, drawn using the earliest possible start date using this activity on node diagram. So this is just a bar chart you can uh, plot it in on a piece of paper. And here you will see that the finish date is 44.83. And this Agon chart is drawn using late start and late finish to the network. This also completes at 44.83. Uh, Gantt chart showing the latest possible start times if the po project is to be completed in 44.83 weeks. Every activity is at the latest possible start time. In next video tutorial, I will talk about um, estimating the probability of completion dates. Calculating the probability of completing the project in less than a specified time, crashing and fast tracking uh, to uh, um, manage the delayed project. So come back to my channel. Uh, this is my channel, dailymotion.com KSS Academy, uh, to, for more videos on this one and other topics. Thank you very much for watching.